What's up guys, it's Eric Kelly, AKA The Tech Gentleman, bringing you guys another video. Today I wanna to give a huge shout out to Google and Team Pixel for sending out their Pixel 8 Pro and Pixel Watch 2 for us to take a look at. It's Pixel season and we're gonna get into it. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be doing a quick rundown of the Pixel 8 Pro specs, the Pixel Watch 2 specs, what's new and how to compare to the Pixel 7 Pro and the original Pixel Watch from last year. But without further ado, let's talk tech. So first off guys, I want to take a moment to just show some appreciation to the packaging this year for the Google Pixel collection. Last year they hit us with the super fancy, fancy suede box with the mirror on the inside. This one is a little less fancy, but not less cool. All right, look at this. They hit us with the bay blue polycarbonate kind of cover here. Sit that up top so they can represent. And then the actual box is this kind of iridescent box with an embossed eight on the top of it. And when we open it up, we have <laughs> almost was on a struggle bus there. Uh, we have the beautiful Pixel 8 Pro and the Galaxy, I mean the Pixel Watch 2 in the new bay blue colors. Frosted back on the Pixel uh, 8 Pro is going to be so dope. But first, I want to take a look at the Pixel Watch, kind of go over some of the changes and updates for it. As you can see, it's mostly the same on the front here. Uh, this year, uh, they sent me the one with the polished aluminum casing. The one from last year was stainless steel. This year is polished aluminum. Uh, last year, I had the one with the black casing. But as you can see, the front of them are pretty much the same. And the most, most of the changes kind of took place on the rear of the watch and the inside. So they have a new SOP on the inside or new SIP, I guess you call it. And they also upgra upgraded the sensors on the back and they also upgraded the way that it charges. So if you had the original Pixel Watch, you know that it had just a standard, you know, sensor array on the back and a standard magnetic charger. So this is the original Pixel Watch charger and it just attaches to the back like that. But the new Pixel Watch actually has charging pins. So it'll attach to the back, but also as you can see here, there are four pins that have to line up and the magnetic attachment is actually stronger, but it snaps in place. So this, this means that you will not be able to use any sort of Qi charging or reverse wireless charging to top up your watch this year. Hopefully that won't be an issue because they say that you're getting uh, 24 hours of battery life with the always on display turned on, but we'll definitely test it out and see and give you guys feedback. I'm gonna power that on, let that chill out while we take our first look at the Pixel 8 Pro. So this guy I've been excited for, for a couple of reasons. This color is one of them. The frosted back glass is another. That new camera array is another one. But ironically, you know, I've had, you know, I rocked with Samsung since the beginning, since they initiated the whole curved screen gang, but I, I'm kind of feeling the flat display. I think it's time for one. And it does a couple of things. It increases durability because you don't have the curved display. You don't have the curved sides that kind of create a point of impact when you're dropping it. But also it just makes things like putting on tempered glass screen protectors a lot easier. It's a lot less complicated. Um, and it just gives the phone a, you know, a usability feeling like you're using a slab of glass again. Uh, the curve was comfortable, but uh, to be honest, I'm all about this flat display life. And there you go, welcome to your Pixel. And the the haptics on this guy are living up to the hype. This one thing that I think Pixel has been underrated in or under-respected in is, are their haptics, right? Their haptics are crazy good, which is a sign of a good phone. But let's take a quick look around this guy. So you got your power and volume button on the left side. I mean, on the right side, on the left side, we've got nothing but our, thank goodness, our SIM card tray. On the bottom, we've got type C and speakers and mics. And up top, you've got an additional mic up there and you have your ultra wideband radio. And on the back, like I was saying before, this is the frosted bay blue color. This is satin and supply. And you have that new camera array there, the new visor with the upgraded 
lens in it. And also that new guy right there is the temperature sensor, which is gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna play around with that a lot. And we wanna compare to the Pixel 7 Pro from last year. So a couple of, there are several differences. None of them individually are huge. Like you got the glossy glass back on the 7 Pro versus the matte on the 8 Pro. The visor is a little bit different right so you had separation of the telephoto lens and the other lenses on the 7 pro whereas they're in one kind of big cutout here um, as you can see there's a mic right kind of in between those lenses on the 8 pro where the mic was kind of offset to the right on the 7 pro and obviously you have that new temperature sensor there which i think is going to be pretty cool um, the 7 pro is a little bit more squared off and the 8 Pro is definitely a little more rounded. And then of course you have the displays. You got the flat display on the 8 Pro, kind of rounded display on the 7 Pro. Um, they're both comfortable, comfortable devices, but like I said, with that flat display on the 8 Pro, you're gonna have some advantages, durability and you know accessory um, application as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy turned on and set up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I've got the uh, Pixlay Pro set up. I was in the process of setting up the watch and I saw that Google has improved, just kind of refined their setup process. So now they actually have a little UI that mentions how to, you know, if you want to learn how to set, uh, attach the watch bands, they kind of have a little animation that gives you, you know, the step-by-step -step of going through setting up the watch bands, which was kind of an issue last year. I know for me, it was, it took a little getting used to with the new mechanism that they have. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Obviously they're still integrating uh, Fitbit more and more into the Pixel watch. You do have to uh, install the Pixel, I mean, install the Fitbit app to take full functionality full advantage of the functionality my bad um but yeah but just setting up the pixel 8 pro and you know right now i don't have much on here i'm gonna go through and set everything fully up it feels good in the hand one thing that i do like going back to the pixel 8 pro um i've been using the iphone for a while and really using any other phone is the just kind of the utility right so the visor is a great place to sit your finger and just kind of let it rest and help you hold the phone up so i don't have to have my pinky under it for that security to kind of keep it you know in my hand with my finger under that visor and i know the phone isn't going anywhere i will say this with the frosted back something that i noticed is i do have already a couple of uh, light scratches on there i don't know if that's picking that up but um in my mind immediately i'm thinking if you have you know rings or you wear jewelry or anything like that then you might want to be careful. You might want to go ahead and put at least some sort of skin on the back of this device, if not a full case. You know, if you're not a case person, you like wearing it, you know, like risking it all and wearing, uh, rocking it butt naked, then get you a skin or something like that. I know D-Brand has like a transparent skin where it's just a protective cover that goes over it. Do something because that back, and it's kind of got like a, not a silver color, but you know, you can, it's, it's exposed in the, I think the raw glass under there. I'm sure Jerry Rig, everything will have, you know, a field day with that. But yeah, just some of the few things that I've noticed. Um, it, it feels, you know, I hate to say it, it feels good in the hand. Uh, it really does. Very comfy phone. The, the satin back feels great. Like as far as grip goes, um, it doesn't, I mean, fingerprint wise, it's, it's not really picking up any at all. I put on lotion on my hands before I started shooting this video. And I mean, it's doing a great job of repelling that. Uh, we're gonna get into the camera as well, kind of look at some of the camera features. Um, and I'll do like some other walkthroughs and they've kind of updated this. The majority of the software is gonna be the same that you see on the Pixel 7 Pro because it is running Android 14. Uh, the camera is probably gonna be where the biggest difference comes because you are supposed to have some extra modes in here uh let's see let's go to video go to photo you got your panoramas your portrait um i like how they've so they've taken kind of the action pan and long exposure from like a beta to you know full time and so you got your different settings and what do you know you get camera settings in the camera app that's an iphone rant but 
But anyway, just looking at some of the camera settings here. Uh, let's see, frequent faces, that's something that I use. That's a cool feature. Uh, you got high efficiency, you can add your social media depth options. Uh, time lapse for astro photography, which I love doing. Rich color and photos. That seems new. Use display P3 color format instead of sRGB for richer, more vibrant colors. Uh, may not be visible before the photo is taken or supported on all platforms. So, seems to be some sort of like richer color feature there. Um, let's see, frame enhance, always appreciate it. Selfie preview, video stabilization, audio zoom. And let's see. So, I want to go to the video. And okay, so up top, up here, we have a little indicator for resolution. So they've cleaned it up a little bit and you get a whole bunch of other options. So obviously we want to do 4K all the time. Uh, let's see, if we do 4K 60, you lose, still lose HDR uh, if you go up to 60 frames on 4K. Uh, and also if you do 60 frames at FHD as well. So if you're looking for HDR, then you want to make sure that you are using uh, 30 frames. I like the frame rate. Um, let's see, still got, so you got access to your locked uh, stabilization and you got your standard stabilization at 60 frames, but you do, okay, so you have to drop down to 1080-30 to access the active stabilization, which I, you know, I guess is your more action sports oriented stabilization mode. But once again, I prefer 4K over everything. And you do have the speech enhancement option available. It's still only available at 30 frames. If you go up to 60, uh, it's unavailable. But you can shoot 4K 30 with the speech enhancement on, which is nice. That's a nice feature. Um, let's see. Make sure to know more settings. Because I did want to see, I guess, all of the kind of new features like the audio eraser and all that stuff is going to be available after you shoot a video after you take a picture which makes sense and we'll dig into all of that I just want to take a quick look at you know what we had going on okay and this is the pro mode okay so you get op you know you get your exposure options you can change that that is cool you get to change your white balance and you actually get the Kelvin marker there so for me I'm shooting at uh, my light bulbs are 5,000 Kelvin. Uh, I do wish there was a more control way to to get that. If it like snapped to certain numbers, you're not gonna have a 497, no 4,976 Kelvin environment. I don't think, but uh, at least some way to snap to the more popular standard versions there. But hey, we got a got a freaking pro app built in. Uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, let's see. So that's cool. So we got our slow motion options. You got your time lapse and you can do an auto time lapse. It seems that's pretty cool. You got your blur. So this is the cinematic blur mode that's been featured on the pixels a while back. We'll definitely test that out. Uh, so it says creates a cinematic effect by blurring the background behind your subject and records at 24 frames per second. So definitely not a, a, a option you want to use with high movement, but it definitely seems like it'll add to the options you have for shooting, which seem pretty cool. Uh, cinematic pan, the cinematic pan is dope. All right, if you're looking to shoot like B-roll or something like that, that cinematic pan is clutch. It shoots 4K and it automatically takes your video and slows it down. It gives it that real cinematic B-roll kind of kind of shot. And it doesn't record sound when it's doing it, but it's, it's dope, it's super stable, super smooth. Uh, that's something I use a lot. Um, Let's see. Yeah, man, I'm gonna test this out and let you guys know what I think. I did want to show off something else as well. Just the, so this is the, you know, Pixel Watch box from last year. And as you can see, a little bit of presentation, the watch is pre presented to you. They did change it up this year where, get that back. The box definitely has m much more of a presentation. So you kind of slide it down and you open it up. And because mine was in the Team Pixel packaging, I can only assume where the, the actual watch face would have been, maybe in here, in some sort of little holster or something like that. And then you do have this side right here that slides up and has your uh, large watch band, which I'll definitely be needing. And also has the charger over here, which I've taken out already. 
um, just to show you guys the difference between the new chargers. But outside of that, packaging is pretty straightforward. And you know, if you're interested in the 8 Pro packaging, take a glance at that as well. We're covering everything, guys. All right, so in the 8 Pro packaging, you got your little book and you've got your USB A to C adapter, which is always appreciated, and your C to C cable there. And that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, once again, this has been Eric Kelly, the Tech Gentleman. If you guys got any questions, comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Um, I also have links if you want to pick up a Pixel uh, device of any sort. Look out for case videos, um, just videos on just the capabilities of this device. The smartest phone on the market right now, hands down. I'm excited, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you. Peace.